busy road like I'm back out I'm back out on the bike of dreams I've used it a couple of times right here and there but to do a proper big ride to check the battery range I've just never been able to get out of the rain it's just keep raining all the time now I contacted DYU and I said oh can you use it in the rain it's not recommended which is uh, not really good for this country is it not recommended in the rain but looking around I don't know what we're gonna get today I'm going into the forest right into the trees into the forest it's a windy day and my plan is to use only the pedal assist and try and wear this battery out see it's on three bars at the moment every time I film on this screen it um, it sort of flickers it's it, the camera's not good at picking up the screen which is a shame because it's a lovely screen I'm gonna have the GoPro mounted on here I'll put that on got my helmet three bars on the battery just worried about the saddle that's it's a lovely lovely comfy seat like nice and wide there like I think I said in an earlier video as well it goes up and down it's sort of like on suspension uh, anyway I'm gonna go around Kiel this is 26 mile this circular route if I can do it all it's been a while since I've been so I don't know about the paths it, there was a few trees came down so some of the paths might not be all the way but the last time I did it was three and a half hours on my normal mountain bike and um, I did 26 miles yeah did the whole 26 because they have the Kielder Marathon here it's the same route so it is 26 I'll uh, record it on Strava as well just for the hell of it but yeah electric bike so if you're feeling tired you're out of the game you're disabled in any way but still able to ride one of them that's what you need it for I mean, I'm still using the other mountain bike it's not like I'm not cycling properly I am using the other mountain bike but I just find this really really handy if you just want to have a flea about and it's windy and there's hills we could try it on the hills as well so I'm going to be using pedal assist all the way around and that should use quite a bit of battery well like I say it's on um, three quarters battery now so we'll see what it's like when I come back all right let's get going Quite steep hill that, quite a steep hill. I've done that on my other bike and it's quite hard. It takes it out, it's a long drag you see. It's all downhill now for a while. So we'll come back when we're back on the hills. So there we're going. We are, we're five and a half miles in and the battery went down one bar but when I wasn't using the pedal assist it went back up so hopefully it'll last if not I'm going to be pedaling it back I've pedaled so the way this is one of the follies of Kielder it smells like somebody's been using it as a toilet to be fair but there's the bike anyway look so we'll crack on, just having five minutes here. So here we are going up another hill. This is quite a steep one. I've just got it on number two. 
I'm pedalling a little bit, but the bike's pulling us up the hill. Yeah, look at this. Now, normally I'd be knackered by now. That's it, we're up. There's a deer over there, I missed it. We're up that hill there, that's it. Good, I think there's a lot of downhill now. We'll turn it off when we're on the downhill. It's a, little, it's a little hill, but I can pedal up this. It's the long drags where it's really handy. Yeah, that's not too bad. Right. Come back with some more features. Just as a point of interest. When you're pedaling along like this, I'm on number one pedal assist, number one. I'm keeping it on that. This is the power, this is the power output here. See, 96 watts. When you're pedaling, it's giving you a good shove. It's 96 watts. That's what uses the battery. Obviously, that's the speed you're doing. It's got the trip on the top. But that resets when you turn it off. I've turned it off a few times. So it's reset, but I've got the Strava on. Done nine miles, 8.5 miles. And then you've got the uh, odometer there with the the total miles the bike's done, so I'm 26 at the minute. So see, it's on one bar there now because used a lot of power coming up that hill. If I free wheel now, it's gone back up to two. Zero watts going out because I'm just free wheeling down. The brake, it just gets carried away, runs away with you. And especially on this track, this is a long downhill stretch. This. camera up come ride with me I'm on the brakes I'm wary of this bike <laughs> goes some speed 21 mile an hour now I'm not even pedaling I haven't pedaled since before there's a corner get your knee out lean into it it's like riding a motorbike it's been a few years since I rode a motorbike Oh, this is a tight one. Round go. See, I'm not used to it yet, so I don't want to take that too fast. Good dog, I've never pedaled for ages. And the battery's gone back up to three bars. It's on, it's on two white bars and one red. I'm assuming when you get in the red, you're dead. That's it. Good. This is all the trees that blew down that blooming storm. Storm Arwen, what damage that caused. But you're at the uh, the giant heed at Kilda. See where the, the tree fell on his nut. Just there. Uh, put a good big hole in it. You'd think they just rebuild it, wouldn't you? It's been like that for years now. It's creepy, isn't it? <laughs> Not it go in, you can't go in now, obviously. But yeah, this is doing well. We're about um we're about three miles off the halfway point and that battery's fluctuating between three bars, two bars and one bar really. It's going up and down depending on how much power I'm using. Alright, so it's good. Hopefully it'll get us back, but if it does run out of battery, I've done the um well, there's one more, one more section over the other side, which is a bit long and tedious to pedal. But I've done most of the um, the harder inclines on this trail. I mean, there's no real big hills; they're just long trail slogs, you know. That well, was good to get us up. That was just to show how it pulls you up the hills. All right, so we'll I'll have a drink. And we'll push on, I think, over to the other side. Silvus Capitalis. I wonder what they're going to do with that. Woo! So I'm done. Um, 
I've done 13 miles, which is about halfway. It depends, um, depends what's been cut off. Another pond. Um, let me conclusions are that you still have to pedal it, right? But on the flats, on the level um, ground and the downhills, the power output is zero on the bike. If you're pedaling and you go a certain speed with your pedaling, the, um, the pedal assist doesn't kick in. So you're using zero power, which is good because you're getting exercise and you're using zero power, you can go further. But when you're going up hills, the pedal assist kicks in and it can go up to 96 watts, depends how steep the hill is and how long you're pedaling for. Of course, the throttle, we'll not talk about the throttle. There's, uh, there's rules about throttles on bikes. But like I say, a trail like this doesn't matter. This is, this is uh, um, off the road, off-road trail. So do what you want here. The plans for this bike are I'll get the, if I can get the rack on the back off my um, other bike, that'll be laughing then. Because I've got panniers and I'll use it for bike packing. That'll be so much easier. Because even though there's a lot of weight on the bike, you've still got to pedal it. It's, it's nippy, man. Um, you've still got to pedal it. So with this bike, you can you can probably load it up a bit more, have a bigger backpack on, take a bit more gear, tarp, tent, whatever. And the uh, bike will do all the work. As long as you're not doing like a hundred mile trip. Because like, like everything electric, it has got to be charged up. Like electric cars need charge up. You've got you've to have the charger ready to charge it. Because it's not going to last forever. 50 odd miles to claim. I've done, I've done 30 miles now. And I've got about 12 left to do. And I've got three bars on the battery. Like I say earlier, it's fluctuating. It's going up and down. The more power you use, obviously the more battery you're going to use. But I'm absolutely loving this bike. <laughs> A lot of people are like, oh, electric bike. Blah. I've still got my mountain bike, you know what I mean? I still go out on that. That keeps us fit. This is purely for fun, this. And it, like I said earlier, if you're disabled and you can't ride a normal bike, you've got, you've got dodgy knees, whatever, or you're just unfit and you want to still get out and have the... I mean, it is a pleasure riding a bike. It's lovely, just the freedom of it. This is ideal. And these grip big tires, dead easy to ride. Even when you're going fast, it's easy to ride. Don't get carried away, you know. Keep your keep your eye on the brakes and that, and on the road. But um, overall, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. They're expensive, but they are expensive. Electric cars are expensive. Electric bikes are expensive. But you know what? I think it's worth every penny. And I, I nearly bought an electric bike last year. I was looking at a mountain bike. And um changed my mind for some reason and I didn't get one I've just got to make sure I'm going the right way yeah, I don't think so no idea um, no I didn't get one but well then I got contacted by this company and they sent this <laughs> I'm so glad and I tell you if I hadn't given if I hadn't been given this and I had tried one if I'd tried one out used it for a weekend or something I definitely would buy one I would definitely buy one maybe not this one but then again this one's brilliant it's fantastic not in everybody's price range that's the thing but you'll be hard pushed to find a better bike for the price if you're in the market for an electric bike and you want to spend the money I can recommend this I can highly recommend it just effortless Anyway, do a bit more time warp and then we'll be done. <laughs> Tell me a story. The
it's like a knife And so we up keeping all of it inside I know how to do it But I can't find the time So hold me down, keep it all of it inside End now, nearly at the end. Uh, I've done 24.7 miles, so it'll be over 25 by the time we get back. I think I've got a mile left. I've got one red bar on the battery, um, but yeah, it's great. Like pedal assist. When you get to the hills like this, just pedal. You don't even need to pedal hard, and it just assists. It just sends you off. This is, this is the Tower Nova, is at the centre? So this is about, well, this is more or less the end. Just a little bit left. Negotiation. Just a little bit. So like I say, if you want exercise, get a um, mountain bike or a road bike whatever but if you want to take it easy if you want to have a nice leisurely bike ride around somewhere like this it's no better you know you're not sweating you're not out of breath your legs aren't aching it's not a race it's not a challenge it's just a nice way to have a bike ride a really nice way to have a bike ride I mean I could have I could have brought a picnic or anything stove around here I could have had spent all day here yeah. I will come back, definitely come back. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see you back at the car. Well, we're back at the car. I don't know if you can make it out right. Battery's on one bar now. We've done 42 miles. How can I stop it flickering? That's not doing that in real life, that's just on there. 42 miles on the Odo, on the odometer. But yeah, look, one bar left on the battery. It wouldn't have got much further. Don't forget that wasn't fully charged when I set off. So I think it's done well. So, it's like everything. The more you use the electric motor, the more energy, the more battery you're gonna use. So if you pedal more on the flats, you're gonna save a lot of battery or downhills there was quite a few downhills there i didn't pedal so it did save a lot of battery but i think if you're gonna horse it around if you go around keeler there on a full charge using just the battery you might just make it but the temptation to pedal is just too much you, you can't not pedal it's just momentum carries you along and it's it's all right you're not out of breath i'm not i'm not knackered i'm not sweating look i've put a i had to put a down jacket on i was a bit chilly my legs for fine oh, that's good man it's good if you just want it like i say just a leisurely ride no challenges no racing just a nice nice leisurely ride i'll definitely definitely do that right again i hope i get a better day next time but yeah that was it so there you go the range test i would say 56 miles is doable depending on the terrain if it's all uphill you're not going to do that cut that down to about 40 35 but if you're pedaling like some of the way and a lot of the way is downhill as soon as, as, soon as you stop um pedaling that power output goes off it just goes to zero so if you're pedaling then the power comes back on if you need it 
it knows it knows when you need the help it is very clever also as soon as you touch the brakes as well it goes off power off touch the brakes a bit so you can you know what I mean you're not out of control you're not it's not running away with you all right so that's it DYU 750 King what a beast what a beast love it I love it